friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about creating a course from a video you already have a video and you want to create a course from it and you want to make sure that you're doing all the right things to get a successful course we're going to talk about uh how you choose your title how you choose or not really how to but I mean more that the fact what are the things that you need to do to get a course to be done because you need a title you need a summary you need a cover image you need the lessons you need to split things up you need to extract it out of the video you need to upload the video you need to do all these things we're going to talk about all those things and we're going to show you how to do it I'm actually going to go through the process myself with a video I already did and I'm going to extract things out of there I'm going to show you how I do it with the tools I have there's lots of tools out there but I'm going to show you what I use so that maybe that can help you and we're going to do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets okay so you have a course or you have a video I should say you have a video and you want to create a course from it so what's the process that you got to go through to do that you know one thing that certainly does help is that you know the process ahead of time before you even record the video which is kind of what I did because you know I've been I was planning on putting together a video a, a, a less a course I should say on how to create a course on Click eCourse so that's kind of what I did I created a an episode on that I kind of showed how to create a course and I did all that and at the same time I took notes of things so that I could take that course apart or that video apart and actually create a course on that so whatever topic it is that you have you can do the same thing you you know you could spend a bunch of time planning things out making sure it's all perfect and then recording the lesson number one and then recording the lesson number two and then recording lesson three and then oh my god I gotta redo lesson one so I re-record lesson one and then you go back to lesson four and then you go do lesson five and then you go back and redo lesson three and then you do lesson six so you could do all that you could record it all separate I did that I actually did a course on TikTok where I record every single thing separately I kind of laid out the course what we would be talking about in the course and then I did a recording for every single piece of it in sequence until I had the whole course right and that works obviously that works but sometimes there's something that you're teaching that's really basic at least to you it's a simple thing it's not hard to do for you and you can just show it really quick and then you've got this video that shows the entire process right but maybe there's some extra you know chit chat in there there's some extra stuff that you don't really need that you don't want to keep in the course that you're thinking I'm going to cut that out and then you can do that afterwards and you can actually do that live or in a live you can do it anywhere whatever wherever you can record a video you can actually create a course from that video if you're teaching something in that video right so we're going to show you what I did in the previous uh video not not previous video but I mean my previous uh episode that I did actually yesterday was an episode on uh on how to create a course in Click eCourse so in there I wanted to create a course on how to do that but I did an episode on it so if you if I show you my blog actually let's just go back here I'm just gonna sorry I should have shared the screen first right but let me just uh, just a second if you're listening to the audio obviously you're going to want to go check out the video on this because um I show lots of things in um what's going on here okay there you go uh, I show a lot of things in my in my video uh like for example right now I'm actually going to my blog site and I'm going to share that on my screen right over here so that's my blog right so on my blog yesterday I did the episode course income secrets 220 this one here is 221 so you're going to go to cis221.jsgangon.com to go check it out uh but this and to go check out the blog on this episode here that I'm going to kind of go show you exactly how to take a video like this 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 episode here how to host a course for free on Click eCourse platform I actually created a course from it and I'm going to redo that right now in this episode to show you how to take a video and create a course from the video right okay so a few things let's go back here let's go to this thing so this is sort of what you need to do 
to create a course from a video obviously you need to record a video that's that's a given of course you need to record a video uh you need to uh, take notes of places in the video where you want to split it so if it's a topic that you're comfortable with that you're already you're just go ahead and go ahead and teaching in a in a live video or in a recorded video that you're doing in one shot then it's something that's easy for you to do that's what I kind of did in the video yesterday I basically took notes as I went through uh, let's just go back to the full webcam so you can see this properly uh so but what I did is I did uh, this I took notes right I took notes during my video that I basically had the intro there from that timestamp to that timestamp I had the register part the create course part the add lesson part the add file part the navigate site part the setup account part and I I kind of took down approximations of where it was because you know as I'm recording the video I can look at the I can look at the timestamp in the actual recording right now we're at six minutes I can write down six minutes is where I said x right now that's not you 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 could be more precise but it's kind of hard to be precise if you're doing this kind of during the recording it's going to be pretty impossible to do that so what I do so then okay so that's one thing so you take note of the parts in the video that you're going to be talking about specific things so you and you can actually do like what I did yesterday is you can actually do this like this you can say okay just here uh, I'm recording this right now and I'm going to be splitting it up into courses so just uh, let me just and right now I'm going to do the introduction so just a second okay so now you say that right and then you take down the timestamp. you write it down in your book saying this is the introduction and then you go hey Jean-Serge Gagnon here so we're going to be talking about xyz and this is a course on xyz and you will be able to do this by the end of this course so you're going to be able to do that and I hope to see you in the next episode or well, obviously that's not what you want to say I mean you would it's an introduction to your course you just said it was an introduction you actually do the introduction and that part when you finish your introduction you put down the note of when you stop the introduction and now you have your introduction right in that bigger video right <clears throat> so now you can split that video up later on and that's what I'm going to show you how to do too so the other thing uh let's go back to the uh this. so the next thing that you need is you need to have a course title you need to have a course summary and you need to have most likely a description or details of the course right so I mean these three things and and a thumbnail or cover photo right so these four things are kind of like your course overview right so you can use that in a funnel page or a capture page or a sales page or or you can use it in the course description page or those kinds of things that's kind of what you need but you need those things you need to be able to say well this is a course you know how to x without y right and then your summary you're going to say something like well we're, in this course we're going to teach you how to x and you know you know how hard it is with the y so just don't worry about the y you're going to learn how to do the x and then in the description you kind of go all out you could do a whole description of we're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about this you know you do the whole thing right uh so then your thumbnail is you know one thing I'm not very good at I I just take screenshots from the videos which isn't really the ideal thing I know that it, I should be going to places like uh unsplash or camtasia or places like that that have free pictures and maybe I should pose I mean there's lots of different things you should do uh, the cover photo and the thumbnail are definitely important uh I'm not the best person to tell you what to do how to do it because I'm not very creative that way I mean I'm good at taking pictures of nature and my kids and things like that but when it comes to coming up with the right cover photo for a course I'm not that great but so what I do is I do a screenshot of this like see you can see right here <clears throat> this is the screenshot whoops hold that this is the screenshot that I used for this video uh, it's just a screenshot of the website right <laughs> so obviously that's not and then and then in the blog post I did this right but this is a blog post that shows how to do the course so I went through the steps and I took screenshots as I went to kind of show what so people can read along right so if you're listening to the audio what I'm talking about is on the blog post uh, cis220.jsgagnon.com I show how to create a course and I got screenshots in there of the process so that people that are reading the blog can actually see what I'm doing otherwise if you look at the video you'll also see that stuff because I'm going through it in the video right okay so 
now we have a video we took note of where play where we want to uh, take things out and we decided what the lessons are in the course you know there's there's you should always have an introduction and the conclusion obviously but then in the middle of the course you have lessons right you have lessons that basically teach the topic right so you talk about whatever it is you're trying to accomplish for the student what you want them to be able to do by the time they're done the course right all right so then what I do is I what I use is a tool called ffmpeg so if I show you kind of what that looks like so I have a whoops wrong I'm not in the right uh, directory oh yes okay so I have a file with the commands so these these commands uh let's uh let's make this bigger let's just put that inside of the of here oops there we go okay so these commands are ff and peg commands now obviously you don't you don't necessarily have to use this tool to do it but basically what I did is I I, I have a source video right in the, what the command says is this is the command name and you need just to install that tool to be able to use that but it's so you can type from the command line or create scripts or automate things right so over here it says what is the input file the input file is video 2 in this case it was yesterday's episode 2020 to 20 how to host your course for free on clicky course platform mp4 so that was the source video that was a 35 minute or so video that contained everything that I wanted to put in the course right so what I wanted whoops what I wanted oh that's that's I'm playing this I didn't want to play this okay so over here I have a C is the codec to use it's a it's what what how to generate the the this the destination file if you will uh SS means where to skip to so skip to that in the video and then the two is up to where so from two if you will right from two minute 52 to three minute 12 is the lesson one and that's the title of the new file or the the name of the new file lesson one introduction and then title I have this is just a variable which contains this so that means that I'm going to end up with files in this folder that have these names uh I should have probably done that let's see yeah so if I show you this screen here over here we can see that there's a whoops what's going on right here resize this there we go you can see that these files were created from that from that series of commands right I have the big the original file right over here that's the original file that contains the whole thing which is a 29 meg or 290 meg file it's a 35 minute file or something and then these are all the individual ones that were generated from that from that series of commands that I just showed you right so these commands here generated those files so now I'm not saying you have to use this process because you can go and use a tool like um Camtasia or you can even use you can even use YouTube like see look, let's yeah let's do that let me show you so if I go for example okay so let's just go back here go to YouTube let's say we go to YouTube right here right I'm in YouTube I got my video I've got my full video right here number 220 how to host I'm just going to go in here I haven't done this in a while I think it I don't know if you just go to edit oh there's editor right here under the editor you take that video and you can create parts of it so now let's say I have I have um so let's just put that aside here because I don't we don't need that but let's say I have a uh, I don't even know I've never used this let's see how that how well that works if I go here I go all the way to oh, okay let's do that I go all the way to 252 so 252 right over here 250 I can actually play it now where's the play oh right here okay so I'm going to go to 252 is right about there okay so let's say that's where I want the intro to start and then I take the end no where's the end There's something missing here <clears throat> oh maybe I just do a select is it 
no it's not maybe I have to press the trim button ah there you go okay so 252 ah there we go so now what I do I do this I go here um and I do a split no see I haven't used this tool but I'm just saying there's tons of tools out there that let you do that so let's just say that I wanted to split a video from two so this is uh 252 to 312 let's go to 312 Mm, doesn't really tell me right that's not very that's not very useful mm. minutes seconds frames <clears throat> so they're not doing a very good job of <clears throat> showing me exactly what I want so I want 252 but where is 252 on this right I thought that this tool this uh, this this editor in um to 312 312 might be right here I'm not sure 312 is right about 312 no yeah that's not very efficient I it would I'd have to really be able to specify an exact position an exact start you can kind of see where it is by mousing right there I can see it's 255 253 is probably what that is maybe there's another way I can see it 249 yeah, that's not precise enough but if I do a play what's it going to do it just goes straight to here I see okay 252 there there we go now play okay so that's my introduction right so that's my introduction and it goes all the way to let's just pause it goes all the way to ah oh, there you go that's better so if, oh maybe I can do this oh can I do that 312 312 there we go oh okay so now I can do that I can trim it to the 312 there we go okay so that will work and if I go to 2 252 is it not going to go to there oh maybe oh I know why because now it's within that uh, yeah that's not uh, but anyways okay so if I just preview and let's well yeah but if I save it is it going to replace my 36 minute video or create a new one mm -hmm. mm. what is there another option save as new oh there you go save as new so this will be um so it intro <coughs> intro let's just do that number one intro what happened save as new uh, okay I'm gonna make it unlisted so now what happens I got a new video that's the part that I needed right so that's the part that I needed there for the split right so I'm doing the split here I got one piece here which will be the video now if I go back to my channels discard yeah that's fine I don't want to now you can see I have this intro right here which is the um it's pending because it's still processing but that'd be one way to generate this little piece of video that I want without using commands like this right like these commands here for somebody who's not a technical geek like me but if you're in if you're a techie person then you want to use this it's a lot easier than trying to go and so what I did is I took the video here in this folder there the folder from yesterday and I actually just played it I went to play it I went like this and I started playing the video hey my off okay so I started playing the video right so then what I did is I took my notes I have my notes here with my timestamps, and it said here that my intro was 248 to 310 right so that's what it says right on my notebook right here right 248 to 310 is my intro so that was an approximation of where it was so I went over here let's just make this a little small so you can actually see the thing 
okay so as you can see it's at 04 right now so I actually just went here I went to 248 248 right about here 248 is okay and then I just played it until I saw where I was actually finished writing and where I could actually do the the actual uh start talking so there okay so right about there is where I start talking you see it says 253 it says 253 right now right so I actually went to 248 that's interesting 248 no 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 I didn't <laughs> I went to this one here let's just resize this down here put that over there okay 252 yeah exactly so I went to 252 <laughs> so I found that instead of 248 which is what I put in my notebook the real start of my intro was 252 right right about see 246 47 48 49 50 51 52 there so right about there at 252 is where I cut it so I said okay it starts at 252 and it goes all the way to 310 right here where I stop talking eight nine ten eleven no oh, eleven maybe oh no no sorry yeah to 312 see right here 312 I actually had 310 in my notebook but I actually discovered it's actually 312 so now I have the exact time 252 to 312 and I can cut it using FFM FFmpeg which is like I said it's a tool right then I went to the next one so site intro was at 337 according to my notebook so I went here 337 right there and I played it until I actually found the actual time I was actually starting to talk now obviously I'm doing this with the sound so I can also hear the sound right but let's say that's where I discovered so that's at 341 so see I went 342 in this case and then to 555 in my notebook but if I go all the way to 555 right here and there 550 so I just play it until there you go so that's that's good so 550 is really where it was oh actually 547 see I did 547 so that's kind of how I figured it out so I figured out the pieces of the course the lessons that I want to take out of the big video and I took down the note of every one where it starts and where it ends and I created all the separate videos like this right after that I just uploaded those videos to YouTube so if you go back to my channel here you can see I've uploaded them here right I've got well you can't really I guess you can you can't the problem with YouTube is as soon as you let's see if I can't yeah as soon as you mouse over it you lose whatever it is right so uh, you can see right there if I could uh I can't really show you uh by mousing over anything I guess I could do it here let's do something something that'll help if I do this okay let's do a, video, a screenshot if I just do this I'll just do this like this a screenshot <clears throat> okay so now you got a screenshot so it's not gonna we're not gonna get messed around with the so you can see right here I have well, you can't even see my mouse though it's not very useful it's not helping <clears throat> okay anyways we see lesson one lesson three lesson four lesson five lesson six lesson seven lesson eight so those are the videos I individually uploaded to YouTube right then then I went to uh, to the a course hosting platform and I I configured the course to use those videos and that's that's really that simple if you want to see how to do it in Click eCourse I can certainly do that um but I and the, but I don't know if that's the purpose of this course I just wanted to show you how to take a long video split it up into pieces using um tools or other like let's load up this maybe that uh, it'll, this will take too long to load up by the time the video is over but let's just see if I can't uh, I do use a tool like this on a tool like this on uh in windows in windows I have it I I have this movie maker tool right that's a that's an option but it takes a while to load up so I probably should have loaded it up before it might cause problems with the recording too because it uses a lot of CPU I'm not sure we'll see I guess but um in here you can actually see where things are um in whenever you're trying to cut the video you can actually go and move this around you can see where you're at in the video you can say 
split it here right I can say so well, I can't do it yet because it's still loading but um but yeah so that's kind of what you uh that's kind of what you need to be able uh a tool like this or can I I should probably get Camtasia apparently it's a really good tool but yeah let's just close this because I don't want it to use up CPU anyways stop repairing <clears throat> let's close this yeah I probably should have uh should have loaded that before at least we would have been able to, I would have been able to show you kind of how that works but it, it, there's so many tools out there the idea is that you want to split the video into pieces and then upload it to YouTube or another platform wherever you want to upload the videos and then you can have a course from a video and you know what else can I kind of show you about this I mean if you if you go if we go to um if we go to like say click ecourse obviously it's it's a process that's pretty simple there click ecourse uh you need to create your course like I said all that yeah we didn't uh, okay so how do you get your thumbnail like for me the thumbnail I, again I use ffmpeng to get the thumbnail out but if you um let's see if you want to get a thumbnail you can do something as simple as this you just go to your video <clears throat> you play it and on a on a pc right on a pc you just make this full screen and then you you screenshot it I think it's print screen like this is it uh and then I use uh, paint oops paint I use paint right to just now this is my this is my course screenshot right so let's I can you can you, you know paint is very rudimentary so you can't do too much with it but I can just say save save as into my uh, let's put it inside the new one here so course thumbnail test I'm going to save as a jpeg and there we go so now we have that and then you can do things like you can even go and let's say go into something like Camtasia that's something I probably should be doing cam is it is it not Camtasia no it's uh oh Canva canva.com you go to canva.com you can create a free account there you can do lots of stuff in the free account I'm just going to log in I haven't logged in for a while so but I just log in as me <clears throat> and in Camtasia you can do things like uh let's just create a new I'm going to just create a new whoops what's going on let's create a new uh, Facebook cover let's say or make it make use that as the cover for uh and I'm just going to go like this let's just do this doesn't really matter let's just choose something here right with a picture how am I going to do a picture let's do this one and let's uh use the template and then I can use my picture and upload it I don't know if that'll how well that'll work but uh, let's say I upload oh, upload I already have photos I uploaded but let's just upload an image from my computer and go into my over here go back into where I was right here and I'm going to take this guy and I'm just going to put that as the background just for fun right and we're going to do this here put that here and I'm just going to make it full size here Uh, I guess I sh I would have had to have it's not big enough right to fit the whole thing but that's fine let's just do that like that I'm gonna make it uh send to back now I have this in the front this is going to be uh creating wait create course um, click e course there we go and learn the basics
basics of course creation there we go and that's it so let's just save that then I download it as a png doesn't really matter oops I guess there's let's do it as a jpeg and I'm going to save that as a image so there we go all right so that's that's pretty much it once you have that you can use that as your cover photo and I mean it's it's quite the it's there's so much stuff you can do with uh with your computer and let's just yeah let's just go back here so that's how you create a course from a video just split it up figure out the start and end figure out the title figure out the figure out the cover photo and all these things and then you can create a course and if you want to know how to create a course on Click eCourse obviously you can go check out my blog and go check out the other posts on that all right so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time